take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Can-Am has bigger bed, more storage, flip-down console, a little longer wheelbase or overall longer. Ranger, more HP, more torque, ground clearance, better tires, looks better, nicer dash and glove box, ride is better, and I've been quoted about $1,500 less than Can-Am. Now the price really isn't apples to apples.29 April 2019. Take our lead. In short, the Canem excels at higher speeds, thereby making it the faster of the two vehicles. However, the Polaris is a more of a true all-terrain vehicle. If you're looking for a UTV for all types of terrain, the RZR is the better option. Point one two February 2019. Make your mark, take our lead. All in all, the Honda Pioneer is a solid machine with a reliable engine but is a few steps behind the Ranger as far as advancements. Our pick is the Polaris Ranger due to the improved handling, better payload and towing capacity, and better box and cab capabilities. Point one zero August 2020. Let's help you make your mark. Registered. They are actually very reliable. There's many in the five digits for mileage. Thing is they make a lot more power than most so stuff tends to break easier if you ride hard hard or start lifting and putting big tires. Point one five June 2018. Make your mark. Take our lead. About 50 miles per hour. This high-performance utility vehicle has a heavy-duty 38-horsepower Rotax 427cc, single-cylinder, liquid-cooled engine. Able to reach a top speed of about 50 miles per hour, it has plenty of power for utility or light recreational use. Point 2 November 2016. Take our lead. Both the Canem HD5 and the Polaris Ranger 570 can tow up to 1,500 pounds. The Ranger box can handle 800 pounds of cargo, while the HD5 box limits out at 600 pounds. The total payload capacity for the Ranger is 1,500 pounds versus the HD5's 1,200 pounds. The Polaris Ranger 570 starts out at $10,299.30 June 2017. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.